never take anything personal again. If you ever had a situation in your life where somebody backstabbed you, they said something to you, they did something to you that you didn't like. Maybe somebody called you a loser, you're a weirdo, and you got angry at it, and it stressed you out, and it made your day worse, it made you feel worse about yourself, or it resulted to you going relapsing on an addictive habit that you were trying to get rid of in your life. Whatever the case may be, if you ever got mad because of what somebody has done to you and it made your life worse, I'm gonna show you exactly how to never let that situation ever affect you in your life again. And the solutions that you can actually implement into your life to become way more detached from negative energy that people throw at you, from negative habits that people do to you or the things that they say to you and to start living a better, calm, more positive life in general. I'm gonna go over exactly what does it mean to take things personally, why is it ruining your life, why do you take things personally in the first place, and the solutions and the actions that you can take to finally become way more detached from this problem, make your life better, and to never let anybody's negative BS ruin your life again. So let's start off first first. By the way, I wanna say thank you to all the people who have been actually watching the long form content. I was gone from YouTube for pretty much a year I just really didn't know what I was doing. Now we come back, we're posting whiteboard long form videos. It's doing way, way better with engagement on my channel. And I'm just very thankful for it. And I just wanna appreciate you guys for actually listening and wanting to learn and grow in your life. I hope I'm able to continue doing that for you as well. Let's actually take the word hope out. I know I'm gonna be able to continue doing this for you guys as well. See, sometimes I gotta teach myself as well. <laughs> but here we go. Why is it bad to take things personal? I'm not gonna go into a deep explanation on the list yet. Later on in the video, I'll show you how you can actually not believe in these lies that you've been told and also how to never let anything really change your emotional state. Cause deep down inside the, the compact, simple version of it, if somebody changes your emotional state in a negative way, you took it personally. I'm gonna show you how to never let that affect you ever again later on in the video. But right now, the first thing, why is it bad to take things personal? Number one, you doubt yourself. If you ever had a situation in your life where you saw, especially for the guys, you saw a cute girl you wanted to talk to and you wanted to get her number, you wanted to get to know her more, you thought she was cute. You build up the courage, you go up to her, hey, I thought you were cute. I wanted to know if I can get your number. The girl says, no. She says no to you. She just rejects you. And because she said no to you, now you see yourself in your head. Man, I'm a loser. I don't know how to talk to girls. Girls don't find me attractive. Nobody's gonna respect me anymore. I'm a weirdo. You basically took what she said to you personally. And now this begins to make you doubt who you are as a person. It makes you not feel as more confident with yourself whenever you're about to go make a decision, a bold decision in your life. Now you're gonna be a little bit more afraid Man, last time I went up to a girl and she rejected me, what if this girl rejects me? You're playing all these lies into your head. That's the first thing. Why taking things personally is not great for you. <laughs> Number two, your life just gets worse. Your life gets worse. We gotta take a little break to uh, hydrate ourselves. the drink of the day is uh, sparkly water. Zero calories, by the way. And it tastes really good. By the way, if you ever fast and you, you don't want to like eat anything in the morning, sparkly water is gonna be your best friend. It makes you not hungry. I know this is not a health video, but hey, I'm still giving you guys some sauce. Drink sparkly water whenever you're on a fast. Right now, I haven't eaten anything in the morning. And I feel very energetic from it. <laughs> but here we go. Your life gets worse. If you take 
everything that somebody does to you personally and I'll go into what it means to say things personally but if you take everything that somebody does to you personally what they say to you personally if you think it revolves around you you're just gonna make your life more stressful you're gonna think man this person doesn't want to talk to me because maybe of what I said this person doesn't like me maybe because of how I look your life just gets worse and nobody wants to live a life I want you to think about this nobody wants to live a life where you think everything that's happening to you is simply because it had to revolve around you when it's simply not true and I'm gonna go into the detail as to why that's a lie and why it's not true and most of the things that people do to you had nothing to do with you in the first place and finally number three let's actually write it right here number three you detach yourself from others you detach yourself from others what do I mean by this you kind of like you're always in a negative state of mind you're always getting angry about what other people do to you people don't want to hang out with you people are not going to want to be with you people are not going to find you attractive people are going to find like they're going to see you as the person who can't take a joke as the person who always gets mad and there's obviously a difference with being disrespected but also when somebody's joking with you and this is somebody in your circle that you allow to have these types of jokes with point is though that's for a different topic in a different video but right now you detach yourself from others every time somebody says something to you you think they're attacking you you think they're criticizing you you think they're trying to bring you down the reality is it's not really true most of the things that people say to you are simply because of how they view themselves it had nothing to do with you in the first place keep telling yourself this it has nothing to do with you in the first place you'll see exactly why later but right now these are the three reasons why taking things personally is going to ruin your life. You doubt yourself, your life gets worse, you detach yourself from other people. And if your main goal in life is to live the best possible life you can live, to be the best version of yourself that you can become, having these problems in your life stressing you out is just going to make the journey 100 times harder for yourself. Now, let's go in to the big question. <laughs> What does it mean? What does it mean to take things personally? What does it mean to take things personally? Here we go. And make sure you guys are writing notes because it's very helpful for you to go back on in the information and remind yourself. Or actually watch this video over again, but also have it in a piece of paper or in a book. How to never take things personally again. So when you face this issue in your life later on down the road, you can go back to the information that you learn and you'll never let this problem hold you down again. What does it mean to take things personally? What does it mean? Here we go. It's very simple. I kind of made it in this type of definition. You allow someone to change your emotions in a we're gonna use red this time negative way if we go back to the example that I explained you allow somebody to change your emotions in a negative way if you go back to the example you going up to the girl, she rejects you. She doesn't give you her number. And she says, no, I have a boyfriend. I don't want you. Let's actually take away the boyfriend. I don't want you. No, I don't, I don't want you. Her saying that changed you in a way that you were mad, stressed, thought, she was garbage, maybe. Garbage. Or you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in yourself anymore. 
All because, all of this, because of what? A no. Now you think she's saying no to you because she thinks you're ugly or she thinks you're a weirdo. When deep down inside, you'll see later on, but I'll give you the answer right now, the small simplified answer. She's in, in her head. I'll explain deeper what this means. She's in her head. She's doing things because she thinks that this is the right thing to do. Or maybe she's having a stressful day. Maybe something happened in the morning and she doesn't want to talk to anybody. Or right now, she might have a boyfriend, right? Point is, that's just the simple answer. But so far, just so you have an idea of the definition, you allow someone to change your emotions in a negative way. If somebody can get you mad, if somebody can get you stressed out, if somebody can doubt yourself simply because of what they say to you, simply because of what they did to you, you took it personally and this you can see why this is gonna result to you making your life worse. <laughs> so, now, I'm gonna go deep down as to why you take it personally. Why do you take it personally? We're gonna speak about you first. Why you take it personally? Why do you take things personally? First up, you agree with what is said. Is said. If somebody says your clothes suck, somebody says this to you, your clothes suck. Your response, no, you now believe. Your clothes are trash. If you believe what they say, I'll give you an example. One time I was in high school, I'm not gonna mention any names, and I came in with a pair of shoes once. It was a Tommy Hilfiger shoes, white shoes, with my outfit. And I remember there was this girl in my class who turned around and said, oh, your shoes are terrible. I learned a very important lesson that day. It didn't affect me. Why? Because she came out of nowhere and said, your shoes are terrible. Your shoes suck. I had the choice of letting it affect me and agreeing with her statement and saying, you know what, my shoes do suck. Maybe I, maybe I don't know how to dress. You see how this is gonna bring me into this negative cycle that's just gonna destroy the way how I see myself? destroy my peace, destroy my positivity in my life, simply because of agreeing with what she said. I didn't agree with her. That was her opinion. That was her idea. That was what she believed. I don't have to listen to it because she can say it sucks, but another person can say, wow, those shoes are amazing. You see what I'm trying to say? It had nothing to do with you. It never has anything to do with you in the first place because later on, it's a funny story, and then you'll see exactly why this makes sense when I explain to you later on in the video. But she starts saying, man, I know my shoes suck, so please don't mention it as well. She wasn't saying it because she thought my shoes sucked. She was saying it because she believed her shoes sucked and to make her feel better, let me tell Andy, your shoes suck. To make her feel better, right? Because it, it had nothing to do with me. It had to do, it had to start with her and how she sees herself. So why do you take things personally? You agree with what is said. You believe what the person is saying to you is true. If somebody says you're stupid and now you think, man, what if I am stupid? Man, what if they're right? Later on in your life, you're always going to see yourself as a stupid person. 
you're going to keep doing things to prove the point that you are stupid because you believe what this person says. No matter how many times somebody says you're smart, you're smart, you're smart. You think you're stupid because you decided to let those negative words from one person affect your entire view on how you see yourself in your life. Number two, we think the world revolves around us. That's revolves around us. Everything that somebody does is because they don't like you. Everything somebody says to you is because they don't like you. That girl will judge you because you're ugly or because you didn't wear that certain clothes today or because you didn't put on that cologne today. Everything that happens to you is be everything that somebody does to you is because they want to make you angry. They want to bring you down. You can see why this view on life affects how the, the quality of your own life. I used to think simply because somebody talked crap behind my back was because they want me to get angry. They want me to feel bad. When in reality, it was just because they were childish. It was simply because they have nothing going on in their life and their way of improving their life in their eyes or making their life better or feeling better at the moment was talking crap behind my back. But because I thought they were doing it because they wanted to make me mad or they wanted to personally attack me, I took it personal and it made me do decisions in my life that didn't lead anywhere. It made me ruin the way how I saw myself and just make my life worse and not even improve in the areas that I want to improve in my life. I was basically putting all my attention on things that did not need my attention. What I want to let you guys know, the world does not revolve around you. And that's actually a good thing. You know why? Because now you know you can focus on the things that truly matter in your life. You can focus on what you want to focus on, not trying to make everybody in the world be nice to you, not trying to make everybody in the world like you. You start to develop this detached mentality of, you know what, well, I don't really care if, if this person doesn't like me. This doesn't mean you're a terrible person, you just don't care. This person wants to talk crap, that's on them, I didn't do anything. They're the ones with the negative energy, they're the ones with the negative attitude, let them continue with their negative life. And you see how by not taking it personally, you, you're more freer, you're more peaced. Like you, you, your life is just better. You don't try to have a chain on everything and control everything in your life. You don't agree with what it, you, you agree with what it said with you? We, you think the world revolves around you. These are the two main reasons why you take anything personal in your life. Now we're gonna get into the sauce. The solutions, the step-by-step -step actions on to never taking anything personal in your life. Let's write this down. Step number one. Realize it has nothing to do with you. We use the example. You have a goal for yourself. Let me take a little break. My throat is starting to get a little bit dry. Pause of the sparkly water. By the way, cranberry lime. You guys want the sauce? I'm not sponsored by them. I just think it's amazing. <laughs> so, realize it has nothing to do with you. What's the example? You have a goal for yourself. You want to create a YouTube channel. And you tell people, hey bro, I want to start this YouTube channel. I want to get this YouTube channel up. I want to get this YouTube channel up. I want to, I want to create a channel inspiring others, helping others change, improve themselves, teaching my lessons in my life. You tell this to your group of friends. Somebody in the group says, bro, that's a waste of time. You're not fit to be a creator. You're not fit to have a brand. Who are you? They're saying all these negative things to you. I want you to realize it has nothing to do with you. If you, if somebody says your goal is stupid, your goal makes no sense. First of all, they don't even know why you're doing it, number one. They don't know why you're doing it. They don't know what is driving you to do it. So how can this person make a assessment, a clear cut thought and realization that 
you're not gonna be fit for YouTube. Deep down inside, maybe the person had a goal. Your friend could have had a goal for themselves. They can't, they didn't achieve the goal because they didn't believe in themselves. Most people say things, I want you to remember this. Most people say things to make themselves feel better. Feel better. If somebody clowns you, for the example of the shoes that I had in my class, somebody says, your shoes are ugly, you literally saw later on in the example, I explained how that person starts talking about themselves. Oh, don't talk about my shoes. I know my shoes are ugly. I don't want you to clown them. She only said that because it made her feel better. She only said my shoes are ugly because it made her feel better. So whenever somebody tries to clown you in life, whenever somebody tries to say something to you in life or try to bring you down with their words, don't take it personally because deep down inside, that is how that person sees themselves. That is how the person sees themselves. They call you a loser. They say your goals are dumb. They say everything that you're trying to do in life is a waste of time because they think everything in their life is a waste of time. How do I know this? A person who is in shape, a person who has their life together will never bring anybody down for trying to do the same thing in their life. You won't find one person doing it. I have built a great body. I have built an attractive body in my life. Whenever somebody says, yo bro, I'm gonna start going to the gym. I'm not gonna say it's a waste of time. So go for it, bro. Yeah, good for you. You'll never hear the words come out of my mouth saying, bro, you're, you're a loser. You're, you're going to waste your time. You're not fit for this. Who are you? Because I don't see myself as that. I see myself as a winner. I see myself as somebody who can achieve whatever they want in their life. So I'm always going to speak in that type of language to other people. Whenever you're around so many negative people in their life, they don't believe in themselves. They don't think that they can achieve anything in their life. They're going to speak in their language. They're going to say things that will not make you believe in yourself. That will make them feel better because they don't want you to elevate. Because it's very uncomfortable when you're in a friend group, somebody elevates, somebody wants to grow, do the things that the group has not done that's very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable for them to accept like, man, this person's elevating and I'm not doing anything in my life. If they really wanted to elevate, they will grow as well. Just one thing. If somebody really wanted to elevate, they will grow as well with you. But if you have somebody in your circle that's bringing you down, saying all these negative things to you, whenever you're trying to grow in your life, that person's really not trying to elevate. They don't want to elevate. They want to stay in their comfort zone. And that's on them because you are in your journey of life. You have somewhere that you want to be. You cannot let anybody hold you down simply because of their words as well. Most people say things to make themselves feel better. That is how the person sees themselves. Majority of the time, whenever somebody is talking bad about you, they have a negative self view of themselves as well, which is why you shouldn't even care. Somebody says you're dumb. <laughs> okay, you don't know me. You are not gonna be in my casket when I leave this earth. You don't pay my bills. You don't, you don't put food on my table. Why should you care? And even if it is a family member, your parents say your goals are dumb. That's their opinion. That's their opinion. You believe that the goal is gonna work, you believe that you can achieve what you want and this is something that will make your life better, then you go for it. You go for it, you don't let, words don't have power unless you let them have power, which is actually the second step. So the first step, realize it has nothing to do with you. Most of the time people say things to make themselves feel better. That is how a person sees themselves majority of the time. That's step number one. Step number two, let's put this in black. Step number two, words don't have power unless you give it.
words don't have power unless you give it power. Simply because somebody said to you, oh, I don't, simply because I just like froze there for a second. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Yo, words don't have power unless you give it power. If somebody says your goal is not gonna work, somebody rejects you, you don't have to let those words destroy your day. Let me open this door real quick. You're gonna see me get out of frame real quick, but the camera is saying that the temperature is starting to get very high and I am not allowed to let, I'm not about to let this camera die on me. So we're not doing this again like last video. Point is, if somebody says to you, your goals are dumb, your outfit is stupid, that's their opinion. Those are their words. Their words don't have power. Their words don't really mean anything unless you give it power, unless you let it, unless you believe it. Man, you know what, maybe they're right. You know what you can do? This is one thing that most people don't realize they can do. You don't have to listen. My outfit looks dumb. Okay, cool. I appreciate your, I appreciate your compliment. <laughs> Just say that. Oh, okay, cool. I appreciate your insight. Because another person, maybe they might think that your outfit is great, right? But obviously there's a, there's a fine line. Like if you're dressing with a garbage bag outside and somebody tells you, bro, I don't think that outfit looks good on you, it's different. There's different when somebody's giving you advice and somebody's just blatantly trying to bring you down and disrespect you. If you have a family member that says, hey bro, I think if you wore these shoes, your outfit will look 10 times better. You have to learn to just make a difference with somebody giving you advice and you can take it and it will actually help you be better or somebody just blatantly just being all emotional and just saying your outfit is stupid just for the sake of saying your outfit is stupid. There's a difference. The difference is the intention that the person's saying it with. If you have a family member that says to you, hey bro, I think if you wore a brown shirt, it'll look a hundred times better with your outfit. This is somebody you love. You know they're coming from a place of love. They're not coming from a place of just trying to clown you or bring you down. If somebody comes out of nowhere and say, oh bro, your shirt looks stupid. The person is being all emotional and they have no sort of like evidence as to why the shirt is stupid. They're just saying, oh, the shirt is just stupid because I don't like it. You don't have to listen to their words. That's their opinion. You continue on with your life. You're gonna be way less stressful <laughs> not taking or listening to everything that somebody's trying to tell you when they're being very emotional because they don't have any sort of logical evidence as to why they're saying the things that they're saying. So that's step number two. Words don't have power unless you give it. Intentions a person is saying it with. Listen to the intention. Why is this person saying this? Is this true that the person is saying it, right? Does what they're saying make any sense? Ask yourself these questions. Let's actually write this down. Why are they saying it? Doesn't make sense. Because you're also not gonna walk around and just never listen to any sort of advice that somebody tells you. You're also not gonna go around and not actually think for a second. Maybe I, I didn't actually get my hair done today. If you go up to a girl and she rejects you and you didn't have a clean outfit, you smelled like crap, you didn't look good, and she rejected you, you can't just walk around and say, oh, F that girl, who the hell does she think she's talking to? Maybe there's something that could be going wrong. Maybe you didn't take a shower that day. Maybe you don't smell good. Maybe you don't look good. You have to learn to just pause and think, okay, maybe that's why that happened. Doesn't mean you're taking it personally in a negative way. You're just like, okay. Why would anybody want to be, give a guy a number who smells like crap, who doesn't dress nice, who doesn't look good? Why would they do it? You have to think about that as well. Right, but if it's just out of nowhere, you go up to a girl, hey, can I get your number? Oh, I don't want to talk to you, get away from me. And she didn't even look at you or whatever, then you don't have to take that person. She has her own issues that she has to struggle and fix in her own life. <laughs> the final step as to how you should never take anything personal in your life. 
This is actually a very important lesson that I've been learning as well in my life. I'm doing a great job, but sometimes we still gotta, you know, practice it. Set number three. Never assume. If somebody breaks up with you, somebody cheats you, cheats on you, never assume it's because, or because I, I'm ugly, or because that person just doesn't like me. Gain clarity. Instead of saying, if somebody says, oh, your shirt isn't nice. I think if you wore something better, it'll be better on you. Instead of saying, oh, F you, bro, I'm not gonna listen to you. Your words don't mean anything to me. Well, what's that gonna lead you? Oh, you might get into an argument with that person. Maybe that person might also get in a negative state of mind because most people don't know how to, how to not take things personally. You're gonna get into an argument, might lead to a fight, whatever. Maybe you're not gonna talk to that person again simply because they said your shirt doesn't look good. Instead, ask them, why are you saying this? Why do you, why do you think my shirt doesn't look good? Don't, don't be attached to it, just be open-minded, listen. Ask yourself, before something, before I'm gonna react to something, let me pause and think. This is the number one thing. Pause and think. I promise you, if you're able to pause and think, you will not struggle with so many of the issues that so many people struggle with. You'll be able to get rid of any addiction. You'll be able to prevent any sort of arguments, negativity that can happen when you're better interact with another person. You'll save yourself so much time and energy when you're able to pause and think. So instead of assuming this person doesn't like me because I, I, that she, maybe she thinks because the pimple I have on my face, I'm ugly as hell. Maybe ask yourself, gain clarity, okay, how did I approach her? Was I a weirdo about it? Did I like just come up to her like from the back, pause? Did I like come up to her from the back and just like weird her out, startle her? Whatever it is, ask yourself these questions because it's not what you really think it is. We cannot read minds. We cannot assume that this person is only saying these things to us because they don't like us. That person might have a bad day. That person might be stressed out. That person might not like themselves. That person might even reject themselves to even letting life or love come into their life. That's just using the love example. These are, this can be applied to any other example in life. Somebody leaves a hate comment. Look, I post videos all day. I create videos all day. I post TikTok shop videos. I had a video that blew up, 3 million views. Somebody commented, oh, bro, you're such a fucking scammer. Oh, we don't, we don't appreciate you. Did I have to listen to what he said? He says I'm a scammer, that the product that I'm promoting is a scam. That's his opinion because other people have used it and they've gotten results from it, it has fixed their life. So why do I have to listen to his words? Actually very funny how my camera actually just like, because <laughs> of the temperature, it just literally turned off. But we're back, technical difficulties, we fixed them. As I was saying, Back to what I was explaining. Pause and think. Most of the things that have happened to you in life had nothing to do with you in the first place. It was either because of how the person was thinking of themselves, what they were going on, what, what was going on in their life, how they were thinking. Maybe they don't like themselves. Maybe they, they hate who they are. Maybe they just really want to see the world negative. Like they don't want anybody to succeed because they know they can't succeed in themselves. The whole point is, Never assume and gain clarity. Pause and think. Before you actually make an assumption, ask yourself, okay, maybe this person is having a bad day. Then leave them alone. Don't talk to them. Maybe this person said my shoes was dumb or looked terrible because maybe they don't like how they dress. Maybe they're so conscious about what other people think about them that they constantly have to bring other people down to make themselves feel better even though they have terrible fashion. Whatever the case may be, just never assume. Pause and think. Those are the three action steps that I will tell you to take. I'm gonna write them down right here so you can like write it down on, a, on your notes. This is a different type of video. I've always wanted to make a video on how to never take things personally. Obviously, I'll be learning, I'll be growing. I don't know everything in this world, but if I'm able, did I just spell solutions wrong? You see how, what happens when you're not present in the moment, guys? <laughs> solutions. 
solutions. Uh, number one, realize it has nothing to do with you. Number two, words don't have power. Don't listen to everything that's been told you. Number three, number three, never assume. Always clarify. Let's write this down too. Pause and think. These are the three steps. If you never want to take anything personal in your life, because in reality, it is a very big issue. When you're constantly just taking so many things personally, your life just is stressful. It's annoying. You think everything is trying to bring you down. Everybody's trying to bring you down. And you just make your life worse in general. Realize it has nothing to do with you. Words don't have power unless you give it power. And never assume and always clarify. If you guys enjoyed this video, I've been enjoying these types of videos. I can't wait to do more. I've just been thinking of writing down an entire list of a hundred things that I've learned and problems that people face in our generation, especially the men, and how they can overcome it in themselves. If you enjoy this video, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to subscribe, it's up to you. Uh, if you do enjoy this type of content, feel, feel free to subscribe. Share this with your friends who also need to help, who needs help in this problem and also wants to grow in this area. The fire alarm is going off because my family is cooking, if you hear that. Point is though, <laughs> point is, if you enjoy this video and you want to follow me on my other social medias, I have a TikTok shop, I have an Instagram, link in the description. If you're a guy who also wants to improve his physique in the next six months and you want that one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can click that little link below as well. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.